morning everybody, today is Tuesday the 28th of June, it is currently 1 minute to 12 and it is Blake's birthday today and it's also the day that I go see Beyonce as well, totally didn't realise that they both overlapped so I'm currently um, just getting ready basically to go see Beyonce so my coach is at like 10 to 3 but yeah I just thought it might be nice for you to see what I'm doing with my makeup today, um, obviously I've just got out of the shower hence this look <laughs> i can't really see what i'm doing right now so i'm gonna put my contacts in so that i can actually see what on earth is going on blake's just popped out to go get his hair cut so he should be back sometime soon i don't really know what to do makeup wise for it because i'm going to the stadium of light that's where she's performing and obviously it's all open like the, obviously it's got no roof um and it's forecast to like heavy rain so i'm thinking should I even make an effort with my makeup? Is it just gonna melt off anyway? Pre warn anybody who doesn't like eyes, I'd look away now just why I put my contacts in. So yeah, I'm just thinking like, what on earth can I wear? I'm gonna have to take a coat now. I didn't really wanna take a coat, but I'm gonna have to take a coat. I've been living out of this makeup bag, which you'll have saw, like, if you've been watching my channel for quite a few years now. Um, you've actually saw me haul it back on my channel so many years ago, when I did, like, a Kath Kids and, and Mac haul. I'll leave the link down below if you want to see it, but it's really just, like, a short video of, like, a haul of just some Kath, obviously, some Kath Kids and stuff and some Mac stuff, hence the title of it. Oh, my eyes are so sore. Yeah, um, there's me, my mum, and my friend Laura that are all going to see Beyonce. Um, and then my sister and her friend are going as well, but we're all we're all different places. So me, my mum, and Lara paid like twice the amount <laughs> and got the standing like right it's right next to the stage kind of thing. It's like in Beyonce's gold circle, so it's right near the stage. Um, well, right near the front, should I say? So. I'm super excited, like ridiculously excited. If you'd like me to do a video showing you like what is in this bag, like what I've been living off out of my makeup collection, I'll happily do that. Just leave me a comment down below and I'll happily do that for you. I've got so many videos and so many video ideas and requests of you and stuff. I am going to be uploading, which I've saw, I am going to be uploading quite more often, quite more often, quite frequently and more often. <laughs> So, so I'm going to prime my face using the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. I can't believe that it's like Blake's birthday, it's like another year gone, like it's absolutely flying by. I've been using my YSL Fusion Ink Foundation for quite a while now and it's actually running out, like it's getting to the bottom of it, I'm actually nearly used up a foundation which is like crazy, just shows how much I like it. So instead I'm going to be using the number 7 Beautifully Matte just because that one is running out, I might even mix them together a little bit, I'll see how I feel. The Beautifully Matte is quite a thick formula and I do think the colour is a bit weird. Oh, it's not coming out. Obviously, I want something that's going to last all night, so I'm going to go for, obviously, a matte foundation. I'm actually just going to be taking that number seven one and just putting it in the centre of my face. If it being just a little bit lighter, it might kind of, like, brighten up my face a little bit. And then I'm just going to take the Fusion Ink one and put it around the rest of my face. I just can't resist it. <laughs> the only thing I, I'm not a big fan of, I am a big fan of the brush in a way because it saves me putting it on the back of my hand and then putting on my face like what I've just done with the number seven one but it's a nightmare to get like the last bit out you have to kind of like tip the bottle so it goes onto the spatula -y thingy <laughs> I feel like it's going to be one of them foundations you know like where you can't get the last bit out I'm just starting with the centre of my face first because obviously that's lighter so I want the lighter one to be blended out first before I put the dark one onto my brush because otherwise it'll just all blend together once I blend the light one out that actually looks really nice. I'm just taking the Chanel, um, what's it called again? Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzer. I'm just taking a Real Techniques like contour brush with it. I'm just putting the cream bronzer. Obviously, where I'd contour. <laughs> I was gonna start doing my shakes today. Um, if you watched my last vlog, I was on about. I'm sure it was my last vlog. I was on about um shakes and stuff. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Um, I've got a new game on my phone, it's, um, I can't remember what it's called, I think it's called Hey Day or something. 
yeah, hair day. And um, I got my car MOT yesterday. Thank God it passed everything. My little brum brum. But um, I thought, oh, whilst I'm going to the garage, because I'm going to have to wait like 40 minutes an hour just for him to do my MOT and stuff, I thought oh, I'll quickly um, download some games before I go. Then I can play on some games. And I downloaded that hair day, and you have to have internet connection. And obviously, where I get my car done, there is no internet connection. Otherwise, I wouldn't need to download games. I just sit on like Facebook or something or Instagram. So that's why I was downloading games because there's no internet up there. I downloaded that hair day. I downloaded um, that Plants vs. Aliens, which I absolutely love. Um, I used to have it on my iPad, and I, I used to absolutely love that game. So I was playing obviously Plants vs. Aliens yesterday, but then when I got home, I thought oh, I'll have a see what this hair day is like before I delete it because obviously I didn't know what it was like because I didn't have internet connection to play on it in the garage and I'm obsessed so that was my I think it's my chickens my eggs are ready to collect <laughs> so I've been I, I've been loving it like I was up last night and I was thinking right I'm gonna be awake for like five more minutes it's kind of like that farmville that everyone used to play on Facebook that everyone like got addicted to it's kind of like that's so when I was in bed last night I was thinking <laughs> this isn't sponsored at all by the way. Me eggs, feed me chickens, me bread's ready as well. So yeah, I was like, well, I'm gonna wait for another half an hour or whatever, so I can at least like get some more food for my chickens, I can do some bread in that time, I can get some food for me cows. Yeah, like I think I'm getting a bit addicted. Like I was walking around Tesco with Blake from yesterday doing some shopping and she was like looking at me and I was like, I'm just feeding my chickens one piece second. Don't mind me. It's a cow that take ages to do. And my popcorn's need done as well. Do you remember when um, all the YouTubers were getting sponsored by that Bad Fiends or whatever the game was? <laughs> and everyone was like doing different videos, but they're like, oh, I've been loving this game. And I was like, yeah, of course you have. <laughs> so has every other YouTuber that's been sponsored by it. Like, I get sponsorships and I get that YouTubers need to make money. I totally get that. But like, do things that like you actually generally like or actually have like some relation to your channel or something I just didn't think it made sense how like youtubers that I've never spoke about playing games on the phone before showed you what games are playing or whatever start showing you games oh and do you know what I also downloaded as well to play but um, when I tried to play on it I needed internet connection for that as well that um Simpsons tap out and if you watch my channel by the way I'm putting on the NYX HD concealer if you watch my channel from like years ago like maybe two years ago or something and um, i did like a may favorite and like the thing the picture had like my ipad in the actual thumbnail and um i was obsessed with the simpsons tap out game so i downloaded that game but obviously you needed internet connection to use that as well so i didn't get a chance to actually play that while i was at the garage as well i'm gonna put on some of the ysl two chaclat as well this is the limited edition collection with all the kisses on it, like the Christmas one. I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes. I do really like this for brightening. I just don't think it gives you much coverage. I think if I was to buy another one of these again, I think I'd probably go for the Glan one because it is more, like I think it's like £10 more or something, but it's got that coverage as well. So like when you think about the fact that like you're buying a concealer, putting a concealer on and then still using this, like it, makes sense buying the glam one about because obviously it's be the same kind of price i think that makes sense that makes sense <laughs> i'm just gonna go wet my baby sponge i won't be a set this vlog is gonna be a lot longer because i'm just chattering away by the way it's gonna be like a vlog get ready with me kind of thing well, i was blake but he's not even back yet so i've got my beauty blender and i'm just gonna blend all of this in I'm so excited to see Beyonce. I haven't saw her, like I've been on one of her concerts before. It's the only concert I've like ever really been to, like a proper full on concert. I was in year 10 when I went to go see Beyonce. <laughs> That's my crops ready to harvest. <laughs> and that was unbelievable. Like it was a surprise ticket to my birthday. And I didn't, obviously I didn't know anything about it. My mum obviously surprised me with them. And she recorded like my reaction to it, like she got her fiance to record my reaction and like I was like screaming. I was like, no way, like I just couldn't believe it at all. 
Like it was such a surprise. And she was like, yeah. <laughs> and then I remember, and this is what always makes her laugh when she think, like when we talk about me going to Beyonce and stuff, because obviously she came with me. I just put on some of the NYX banana powder, by the way, just of her Morphe um, 438 brush, just in case you're wondering what I'm doing. I remember we were actually in the building. Opening act hadn't even been on yet, so like it was waiting ages for Beyonce to come on. And I was just stood there and I was like, Mum, I'm in the same building as Beyonce. I was like, Beyonce is in this building. I'm in the same building as Beyonce. And she was like, well, yeah, because you're going to see it. I was like, but Mum, I'm in the same building as Beyonce. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> she was like, you do you? And I was like, I know, but it just like, it just kind of hit me because obviously I didn't have time to, to prep. For it like I didn't know it was coming it was all a surprise I found out on the day that we were going so like when I got there I was like shit I'm in the same building is it I'm in the same building as Beyonce like what the hell oh talk about a fangirl and I'm buzzing because I'm in the same building as I never mind the same room so super excited that's why we paid more for the tickets because I knew that like I don't really go to concerts don't really like do anything like that um Whereas when it comes to Beyonce, I would pay the extra. <laughs> I think my ticket cost like 120 quid. And I bought the tickets obviously ages ago. I feel a bit sorry for Blake because it's his birthday. And um, and I will be leaving like quite early. And I'm going to sleep at my mum's tonight because I will coach us and get back into the town until my hair all right to go down. That look all right? Yeah. And oh god, it's starting to rain already. I don't even know whether I'm gonna bother doing anything with my hair because it's just gonna pour down. I think I might just curl it and then it goes curly in the rain anyway. <laughs> Once the rain gets on it, it goes naturally curly. So I think I might just curl it and just hope it looks all right. I'm gonna have to take a coat with me anyway because I'm gonna have to put a hood up. Otherwise, I'm gonna be like literally just like dripping. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so excited. I'm taking the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC20 and then Aerial Techniques Powder Brush. And I'm just putting this all over the skin. So you can tell that my skin has got so much better. Like if you've watched my vlogs over the last couple of weeks and like from all the uni stress and stuff, like my videos, my skin in my videos have got has improved so much. Like I've got barely any big blemishes, I've got like a few little spots around here. I've got loads of blackheads on my nose and I really don't know how to get rid of them. Has anyone got any masks that they recommend at all? Like I like the Glam Glow, I like the Glam Glow one. I had a little sample of it, I think I've still got a little bit left. It's up here, I'll show you actually. So I've been using this Glam Glow mask and it has been helping so much with like my blackheads on my nose. But it just seems like it helps but then they come back anyway so if you've got any recommendations for mask or you do think that one's like the best one that you've tried then let me know because then i'll just have to buy it a full size and just pay quite a lot of money for a mask which is like a bit heartbreaking but i guess if it works then it works babe do you think i should wear my waterproof jacket or my green jacket So I'm going to apply, I was going to apply Havana but I want something like brown or something on my face. I'm going to use Rakuchu because I want something brown and pinky at the same time. I haven't used this for so long as well. It's so weird talking when Blake sounds this because he doesn't actually know I'm recording. He probably just thinks I'm talking to myself. I'll try to talk to him and he's just ignoring me. <laughs> I'm recording a video. What, now? Yeah. Just a vlog. Wanna come say hi? <laughs> Can I not keep it in? No. Do you wanna come say hi? No. Then I'm gonna take some of the Mary Luminizer by the Balm, which is just a highlighter. And I'm going to take in the Morphe M501 brush. And I'm just going to put this on the top of my cheeks. I love this highlighter so much. That's why I don't know what coat to wear. I think I'm, I'm just better off wearing my waterproof one. I take it because it's not like it's waterproof, but it's not boiling hot, is it? No, but take the fleece out of it, no. Well, 
Well, I'd just maybe wear the fleece and then at least if you take it, and then if you get too warm, you take the fleece out with your Yeah, but it means me holding it. That's why I was just going to take the fleece out and just wear the coat. Taken the Freedom Brow Pomade in Ash Brown, by the way. It's very lightly putting it through my brows, but you can have tell the difference. Especially when it comes to like, the arch of my brow as well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you do realise that I'm filming, right? No. <laughs> Throw us my t shirt, please, darling. Okay. The red one. Red one. The red one. Red one. I'm so glad that I paid extra for them Beyonce tickets. I just feel like I'm going to enjoy it so much more than what standing was.